Hi everyone, I've got another great tip for you on how to ease up the slicing and the hooking. And this one is for David Potts who put a video up on my timeline a couple of days ago. This really applies to you and this is where I got the idea for the video. People who slice the ball, what they tend to do, they tend to take compensatory action, they start aiming further and further left to allow for the ball to curve back to the target. But really it's one of the worst things you could do because the further left you start aiming, the more your club's traveling left, the more likely you are to slice the ball. The best thing you can do is try and aim just slightly left of your target. And whenever you're trying to fix a slice, you're really trying to get this path a little more to the right and try and find a, a, a better relationship between the, where the face is looking and where the face is traveling so that the path and the face need to match up a little bit better. And if you start aiming further and further left, you're only exaggerating those lines and you're, you're dooming yourself to huge slices. You're either gonna hit a massive pull or a huge slice. And the same kind of thing goes for those who hook the ball. They'll start aiming further and further to the right and really in your subconscious you know right that I'm going this way but the target's away over here so I've gotta do something to get it there and it just means bigger hooks bigger slices. So try not to get too exaggerated in your alignment. Try and aim in the general direction of your target. Obviously allow for a little bit of shape, but try and work on your face and your path if you get the chance at the driving range. Now again, I have to thank everybody who's been liking and sharing the videos in the last couple of days, I appreciate it. But if you could like and share this or tag somebody in it who really needs this advice, I'd appreciate that, thanks.